Salusa, February 20th, 2017. Message 25. Via Donnie. Webpage, Salusa New Messages, at blogspot.com. Dear friends, many of your earth years I have been sending you messages to inspire you to open the sacred door to your own happiness and your own recognition as beings of light and love. Some of my messages created confusion, some of them created fear, some of them moved you closer toward your goal in this great lifetime opportunity. Some of the messages will be understood later, when you get through the mystical point of reaching and accepting the truth about self, about your learning, about the purpose of our existence. It is now the moment to move on, as my messages have fulfilled the purpose and there is no need for more because everyone have to find out own truth, that is known only to oneself. Now we all have to focus on bringing this truth to life, to reality and create something beautiful, unforgettable, uplifting and enlightening that will carry us into further existence, that we all are preparing for. Experiences for myself will also change now, so I have to focus too on my own readiness for the new that is coming to me. I already feel the powerful energy flowing through me and feel how it is drawing me closer and closer. I cherish the thought that finally the difficult learning is over and it is being replaced by beautiful love and experience. Please remember that you are the creators for your own life experiences and the most important thing in moving on is to accept, understand and let go all that still makes your life difficult. No one else can forgive yourself but you and no one else can express desire and will to change but only you. Do you see how powerful you have become? And love will always support you, because she is growing each moment as the whole universe is sending powerful energy to support the change. May the love open your hearts wide and brighten all the dark places within and leave you shining and receiving the ultimate message of the truth and love that is behind it all. Seleucid. Message 24. Suffering is part of human experience for a long time. Suffering was part of clearing of so-called sins, which one done to other or many others. In other words it was used as a very good tool for understanding how such action can influence life of oneself and of others involved. It took many hundreds years to come to complete bottom of one's self-recognition and realization that no step further can be done with such life conditions. Those who have been there know that from certain point all began to change and one allowed her, himself to raise above the suffering experience. Certainly it required to fully understand why we have suffered and once this question was answered, we were able to receive love of higher frequency, which enabled us to get beyond the need to suffer. If you still feel the need to take the suffering of others upon your shoulders, you might still need to clear yourself from some past actions. It could also mean that you still believe that suffering for others will help them. Even if you are not karmically bond with the being, then you still need to understand the truth about your own reason for suffering. Yet when you know you have reached that certain lowest point of life experience, you can be assured that no more of your suffering will bring any positive effect to others. You might still tend to feel so, because long time you have spent in such condition, but if you ask your inner wise all-knowing self, there is only one possible answer for you, no more suffering. Your suffering for others will truly not help others, it will only leave them in the same old delusion of someone else will clear their matters and in fact you would not allow them to move on with their own evolution. And of course, you would not allow yourself to move, because of false belief, that you are the one that can save others. That would be the denial of the prime truth that you are part of the great creation force and not only some small creatures that cannot express their full power and help others with their very own wonderful example of self-grace and forgiveness that we all are gifted with. Ask within for grace and it is immediately given to you. Ask for forgiveness and it is done. Ask for liberation and you are being powerfully drawn to true freedom. Do you allow yourself to be liberated? To be truly free? Or do you rather still suffer to feel safe among others, 
who's still working on their clearing. Seleucid. Message 23. In our constant search of the truth, we are gathering understanding that is moving us forward. In every our action is the desire to know, to move beyond our own limits. We experience many things that are guiding us to certain understanding and only after we understand they can be released. Therefore it might seem that you are experiencing some things over and over until you see the main reason. When you look at certain experience as someone else is having this experience, you can view it from different angle and it can bring you valuable information that will help you to understand because sometimes it is difficult to truly detach from inner feelings that are rising each time when certain thing is happening to you. Those feelings are a natural reaction and they are your sign that something needs to be cleared, pondered and understood. Most of the time they are not very pleasant and making you think less of self, which of course is causing a blockage of energy flow. Therefore it is helpful when you look at the matter with the eyes of watcher, and let yourself be involved as the other listener. You know that it always helped when you spoke with someone who understood you and the fact that someone just listened allowed you to process difficult experience. Yet by inner individual matters, no one is able to truly understand but yourself. In most of the cases you cannot just speak the thing around, so detaching from that certain experience and viewing it and looking at it from different perspective could be a great help. Simply allow yourself to think of it without judgment as you do when pondering the similar experience of others. Most difficult is not to judge oneself, even if you clearly understand the point of all your experiences and when looking on them as a whole, you know that all of them were necessary and allowed you to move here, into the now. Dear friends, realize that each one of us have experienced ups and downs, darkness and light, war and peace inner and outer too, and Creator made us all perfect in and out of love. And this love is everywhere, in everyone. Seleucid. Message 22. Passion. Simple word, yet within it hides something very important. Today it is used in connection with someone enjoying doing something that brings him, her satisfaction and happiness. Yet it is not only this meaning to describe beautiful feelings that raise us high, beyond the certain limitations of our realities, it is also showing us and guiding us the connection to our prime desire. Desire that is encoded within each being, desire that make us to move on, even when we feel that no more step can be made and enables us to come closer to the truth. Passion is the proof that we are working on the fulfillment of our destiny. Passion support us in reaching as far as we can from certain point in our evolution. Passion cannot be given, cannot be artificially made. Passion is created within, when we found out something very important that needs to be experienced for our own understanding. There are many actions that you would not think they could create passion within, yet if you think of own understanding, there were many passionate warriors, fighting for the right thing. Not so long ago, there were many passionate priests spreading their religion teachings as the one ultimate truth. Then the more you moved closer to own understanding of the truth, the more you started to be passionate about other more loving actions, passionate artists, healers, all kind of actions that helped your connection to wisdom. Our own passion is the sign that we follow the guidance that is being given to all of us in every reality that we create and living in. And there is another very important aspect of passion. It is connection between male and female energy. Many stories have been written about how to create perfect connections, how to reach complete fulfillment of relationship. There are also still many old knowings that should help you. And there are also many current knowings, that are misleading, creating only false illusion of satisfaction. The truth is, that passion will never be felt when relationship is based on karmic issues or false illusion of attraction. False illusion can be easily recognized, there are no deep feelings created, no energy is flowing through the form and mind is filled with thousands questions. On the other hand, 
The true and powerful connection creates passion immediately, without any doubt you feel it. Strong flow of energy moves through your form, opens you heart and mind is absolutely quiet. Do you feel the difference? Are you passionate? Seleucid. Message 21. Trusting others seems to be easier than to trust oneself. You can feel their energy, you can look into their eyes and you can hear them speak, so you have enough proofs of trust, or not to trust the being in front of you. Yet where do you get proof for yourselves? And what does it mean to trust oneself at all? Some think it is easy to answer. Some think it cannot be answered so simply and some think this cannot be answered at all, that it needs to be felt. All answers would apply, because you either trust yourself or not and you do not need any proof, but there is the need for proof in order to understand the lesson of trust, proof being the actual experience that lead us to the understanding and finally if you do not feel the same energy as when you trust in something or someone other, you know that you do not fully trust yourself. To trust oneself is coming from your inside core, where all is known and there are no doubts about any self-values or actions or anything. If you ask yourself for the proof of trust, it will always be given to you. It only depends upon the way you receive it. It can be energy flow up to your mind, it can be strange feeling inside, energy not moving straight. It can be call for certain action, so you get physical, proof of the state of trust in yourself. It truly depends on each individual need and therefore you cannot compare with others, as you might not understand the experience and you would have to create new experience similar to the prior one, because you all have to be sure of that who you are, which means to accept everything about oneself and in fact this acceptance and understanding of your role and purpose of existence creating the trust in oneself. Nothing else will make you trustful but the knowing your own life story and connection to your stream source energy. Do not search for the proof in others, as you will not find the exact and necessary proof with them. It lies in the knowledge of oneself. Do not be afraid to search for this truth. No one will judge you. No one ever did. Because we simply experience all kind of experiences and they are moving us forward to that ultimate experience of unity. Do you trust yourself? Seleucid.